Hi, we have the same people from last time. Um, hey. We are going to read Fist of the North Star. <laughs> A.K.A. Okay. Sad hand jobs for a dying man. Dying wish. By mostly a man. In SFW, sad hand jobs for a dying man. I guess... I guess uh, we'll take turns reading? I'll read first. He was allowed to be afraid. It was permitted. It was okay. He was banging on death's door with both his fists in a grotesque countdown at his body. As his body warped in and out on itself like he were constructed of putty. But blood. So much blood. Yep. Edge. Whoever the hell that is could dab as burning forehead with a dab. They both knew it wasn't going to do a damn thing for him, but they felt better on some superficial level. Better than doing nothing as he boiled from the inside, degrading rapidly as the pain took hold, he reasoned. With the lulls growing shorter and the ceiling growing stronger, Ray should have readied himself for when his bones began to twist inside him and his muscles swelled as if they were going to burst right out of his skin. All he knew was the pain and it drove him even closer to the edge of sanity. When he held up his hand to, to cough into, it came away with thick, dark blood he wiped away before forcing a smile to those around him. Good people, kind, compassionate, and caring, and so vulnerable. Guilt racked his mind over and over, and it crushed his soul down with such an oppressive sense it took all of his willpower not to break down and cry over their tentative safe house. Can I just say, hey, this one's much more detailed than the last one, to oh, be yeah. honest. Oh, definitely. It's a little impressive, because I am bad yeah. writing. Hey, guys, can you help me with names? Because I personally haven't seen Fist of the North Star in, like, forever. I think the last time I watched it officially was when I was, like, six. But, uh... I... I... I Ailey. thank you. Ailey, uh, Ailey, I Ailey. Okay, thank you. When he went to seek his own company and howl in peace, he almost felt better. Ailey could not hear him. He persuaded himself she could rest for at least a moment. Stop worrying. Stop. Out here again. Ken, my child. A small dismissive noise is more out of habit than a whole come to stare at the second crucifixion of Christ. <laughs> Kinshiro said nothing and lingered. He was at a loss for words. A bitter smile ghosted Ray's face. He didn't need words. Ken sat next to him and there they remained in companionable silence until Ray shore his lurch and he gripped his face with his hand as it crumpled in the single most crushing moment of his life. An awkward hand on the airman's shoulder into an arm around him. An awkward arm became an awkward embrace that lingered on too long. When Ray looked up awkward. with glossy eyes... He was red in the face, and Kinshiro could not find it in his heart to deny a dear, uh, to die, to not, to, ah, to deny a dear friend's, friend. Dude, this has more religious reference than that other wish. Evangelion story. More what? <laughs> this has more religious references than the other story. Oh yeah, it does. Then again, so Kim the question... looks like Jesus with blue hair. Hold and on. buff, and buff. Oh yeah, guys. Jesus of blue it hair. said he was red in. It says he was red in the face, right? Wasn't he just coughing up blood? <laughs> yes, <laughs> he's just covered in blood. <laughs> nice, nice. You have to help me out, Ken. Please, my child, do it for your Messiah. <laughs> Zip. That broad, rough hand was just as gentle as he'd imagined it would be. Kinshiro was being so damn careful not to hurt him, even though each brush of finger on skin prickled and seared as it pressed so minor in comparison to the sensation on a stiffening cock. If he were any more... <laughs> because, you know, he would have screamed. 
emotions with all the elegance of teenagers. All the elegance of teenagers. What? Why? <laughs> what? So what? So when they say with all the elegance of teenagers, do they mean really sloppily and like a douchebag? They, uh. what, what they mean is really bad because Kinshiro is a giant manly man who probably doesn't know how to give a hand job. Wow. Managed to rile him, even at as his core tensed and all of him shook through the pain that reared its ugly head. It made his whole body quiver, vibrate, and just somehow sick pleasure rose from the torture. You know, the nails, the hawthorn tree. The... Oh, yeah. No, this time when Christ is crucified, he explodes into blood. Yeah. You're already holy. <laughs> You're already purified. <laughs> You've already gone to the promised land. <laughs> That's stretching. I've already died for your sins. <laughs> You've already died for my sins. Alright, just a moment. Just a short, self-indulgent moment for a dying man. Barely in need of coaxing as legs gave way and he had no choice but to grasp for the other man desperately. Hey Zeus, that sinful. Is that you? His cry of pain made... <laughs> Ken tense as Ray tightened up his grip and shivered until a long, broken sound, barely louder than a whimper, chilled the man of Hotko more than ever. The most pain of death cries. He shifted them so he was holding much of his friend's weight off his weakened knees and rested his chin lightly on the other's neck. Ray's arms wrapped around his broad companion, and for the first time in so many years, he sobbed silently to someone. He didn't feel the compulsion to need to fix it. His sorrow rushed out before he could catch it again, and he felt no guilt, finally allowing tears to beat and run from his eyes. There was a grim acceptance of demise, but none had been as difficult as the acceptance of his demise. It was different when the blood was your own and your time was running out. Well, it was different because in lots of different series, when people are literally on the brink of different, like, look at Caesar. He didn't give a fuck. <laughs> it was boy. different. Yeah, he was. It was a diff it was different when the blood was your own and your time was running out, like sand through fingers that couldn't be caught. He was scared. There was no glossing o that over. He was petrified and could barely process it, but at the same time it was <laughs> Ray's um, thoughts were muddled. This is murky with like... tears. <coughs> murky with his tears. He held and let himself be held. The slow stroke of pleasure more welcome in that moment than it ever had been with anyone else before. You know how to end this, right? He shuddered into Kent's hand and saw it lips to express his thanks. Saw it with sadness and kissed Jolly tenderly with love. Thank you, my child. No, it's not you're already dead. It's you've already came. Oh no, because Kent's <laughs> about to explode into blood. Yeah. You mean Ray? Yeah, Ray. <laughs> well, probably Kinshiro too. <laughs> Except Kinshiro's not gonna explode. He's going to get smeared with blood. Well, according to Newton's like third law or something, for every action there's a reaction. So I mean, <laughs> Kinshiro might explode into blood. <laughs> All right. So that's it. That, that was. I mean, yeah. not nearly as cringe as I thought it would be. Honestly. That was actually kind of well written. Well was written. About Shit. Really Should I find man. a badly written Kenshiro no, thing? No, no, no. That was good. That was good. Damn. Uh, I, I, I would say if you're into the getting hand job while you're dying part of the internet. Getting a hand job when you're about to explode into blood. 
I, I'd <laughs> say. Was it? Didn't Ken get attacked? Not Ken. Fucking. Ray. Ray. Yeah, didn't Ray get attacked by Rao before this? Yeah. Uh, wait. I have no idea. I haven't seen it in the show. Rao. Who, uh, killed Ray. Yeah, Rao. I thought I Ray was um. No. He had like a timer on him, like he had like three days to live or something. Uh, he had three days to live, and then they came across a random dude in the desert who was like, "Oh, hey, I could give your friend more time," and then he gave him like a week. No, I thought it was one more day. I think it was one more day actually. It's been a long time and... since I watched Fist of the North Star. So he is this like then? I mean, I could try to find another fiction story. Yeah, I, I think that's good for the night. So yeah, guys. Um, okay, good. Get the fuck out, Omaruwa Woshin Baru.